for the stars. Christians have been admonished to return back to God, who is the originator of destinies, in order to have a better 2022. The district pastor of the Apostolic Church, New Kadu Abuja, Pastor I. O. Dofia, made this known today, the last day of the Bountiful Harvest Program in Abuja. The report by Phonobong Sunday is presented from our studio. A three-day prayer program to usher believers into practicing the overnating principle for Bountiful Harvest in the year 2022 held at the district headquarters of the Apostolic Church, New Kado Abuja, was a moment of appreciation. In his message titled, Let Us Wake Up From Sleep, Pastor Dofia, who took his Bible reading from the Book of Psalms, said, Sleeping could limit one's destiny. There are some people in the church in this 2022 that any of the mission that the leaders and the leadership of the church will set in instead of them to give a support. What do they do? They slip up. When they do not support, when they do not contribute their positive idea, what are they doing? They are slipping. Pastor Dofia spoke on the possible ways one can achieve a better 2022 and further pray for God's divine preservation and intervention for Nigeria. The entire world this day is to return back to the word of the Lord. So because if you can retain the word inside you, like Colossae 3, says, let the word of the Lord dwell in you richly, in all wisdom. So people are too playful this day. They don't have time. They're after their phone. Good morning in the phone. Good night in the phone, so they don't study the word of God again. If you even go to churches, you discover that many don't go to churches with Bible, they go with phone. I stand on the capacity of a prophet to declare this nation there shall be peace in the name of Jesus. I speak peace to this nation, I speak peace to even the president and to his body that the Holy Ghost should take over them and cause them to lead the nation well. Some of the church leaders expressed their gratitude to God for the success of the conference. People have been blessed in diverse ways. Many people have gone home with testimony. Today is the last day. And I believe that God will round it up with bountiful blessing for each and every one of us that are attending this program. God has been so faithful to us. Over these three days, we've had um, dry fasting, praying for the country, praying for ourselves and that God will bless the church. We believe that the word that God has given to us promising us that this year is the year of our bountiful harvest will surely come to pass.